y'all will get to watch the sunrise with me because it's dark. It is so dark out here. Is this my scoop? Hessie! She is even sleeping. So this is actually where all my show pigs formerly used to stay. And as you can see, well, I don't think you can see, there used to be a gate there. It's gone now. Has your shoe. Ripped it off. But it's okay. She's my last remaining pig. It's actually been a while since I've updated anyone about the pigs. And if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know a little bit more about them. So if you're from Instagram, my pigs are basically gone. I only have one more left. I'm actually currently trying to find her. <laughs> And she's gonna come out of nowhere and scare the crap out of me. Watch. Hester Sue! Hester Sue. Hessie. I promise she's okay. Girl. What are you doing? Oh, that's stinky. What are you doing? You have real straw. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Let's go food. Let's go get food. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Good job. Because... Indeed.com doesn't seem to be getting that. Truck drivers. I we sure do love it. But we do successful yeah, because they're here. Yeah, just just because it seems okay. like it's the dream life too, because it's exactly what you said. But arms. I mean it's like performing other event you can not you can play the game. Hey, uh, it's Rio. Welcome to day one of Vlogmas. It is November 30th, 2023. It is 6.43 a.m. Y'all, I'm actually really excited. I have not ever done it before. I used to really want to, but I was scared. It's a lot of work. I was a little worried about it, you know? Like, what does it mean? So today's agenda, I'm kind of going off a of reply that I got on one of my stories. What do you eat in a day? What do you do in a day? Your schoolwork schedule and all that kind of stuff, which whew, my eating habits have been disrupted. I actually hardly eat breakfast. I drink coffee instead because it acts as... Uh, I'm not close enough. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's a suppressant. It's an appetite. Suppressing. I think it's how my mom described it. I am an early bird formally, but lately I've been staying up late and it's been disrupt my entire routine. I don't actually have time all the time to make a full balanced breakfast. For a while, I was actually on a juicing kick and a smoothie kick. I will say, I felt like a million bucks when I was doing it. So I probably won't make a breakfast this morning, but I might make lunch. I actually don't go to full-time school. I am dual enrolled, and I go to the first one, a public school, for two periods only. I have a jazz choir class and a ag mechanics class. I was homeschooled formally, like completely. And I will say, I don't think I'd be doing half the things I do if I wasn't homeschooled. It definitely opened a lot of opportunity up for me and helped me really be creative. And so that's kind of how I got into YouTube so early. I don't if anyone can relate to this. Uh, anyone who's a coffee drinker, but I kind of have an attachment to the coffee stand. Not like an addiction. <laughs> I really like the people who work there, so cheat on them by making my own coffee, even though it's probably a lot more cost effective. <laughs> and I'm sure by the time I actually leave for university in less than a year now, I'm pretty sure that I will have to start making my own coffee. But I did find out that the university that I'm going to is getting a Chick-fil-A. What? That's just destined. Chick-fil-A is life. I'm a major in ag education and that's basically just a fancy word for doing ad communications. Quick fit check before I go. I am wearing earrings. I don't know where they're from actually. Necklace from Arlington Hardware. Sweater from Hollister. Stretch pants from Amazon. And Vans from Vans. Right, so I'm going out to start my trip. Little baby truck. And I'm actually really depressed right now because there's no sunset or sunrise. Look how cloudy it is. There's, there's gonna be no sunrise. I can't talk today. Got done with my
my two class periods at the high school and they both went pretty successfully. I had to tell you really quickly something that my ag advisor was talking about this morning. Absolutely amazing, by the way. Just like teaches me more life skills and I'll ever know what to do with. Very motivational, really inspiring person, has a lot of experience, but he really does care about the success of his kids and how we interact with each other and how we interact with the world and what we're going to become and who we're going to be and how to be productive. He said, we all have the choice to show up, put our 110% in. And a lot of people, especially in this day and age, and especially in America in general, it's so easy to take for granted. He said, you know, working hard towards something you're passionate about is just one of the best pursuits ever. Being a part of that and actually thinking about it, it's easy to get caught up in the slipstream and to be unmotivated, unproductive. And originally when I was going <laughs> to start Vlogmas, I had the same kind of mindset and way of thinking. I just did not want to do all that work, you know, the camera around everywhere, alternating between a camera and a phone, downloading all the footage. It's important to think about what you're passionate about and then to actually pursue that. How much you put into something is how much you're going to get out of it. You reap what you sow. And I have learned that lesson time and time again with showing animals, with working, having two jobs, transitioning to a senior year. Everything's kind of hitting you all at once. Being involved in FFA and there's so many different things that you can do still. I just wanted to share that little piece. Hopefully it's uplifting. It definitely was to me. And obviously I can't do his speech any justice. And he always talks about how he's getting up on his preaching box. But I just want you all to know that I care about y'all and I just want you guys to be successful. And I just think that having a teacher that cares about that, have teachers that really just put in their 110% and actually say what they do. Integrity is just so important to me and it's always been important to my mom as well. Ah, anyways, I'm off my preaching box reiterating this morning's lovely motivational speech. You should give a TED talk because I do public speaking too in FFA. Trust me, I can just not do that justice. I am going to head home and then I have some schoolwork. I will show you that though when I get home. So peace for now. I left our names written in the sand. I didn't know that they would walk. So just got in from feeding animals. Real quick, I'm going to practice my jazz choir music. Oh, I messed that up. That's not the alto part. That's the soprano part. Gonna get to know you better. My world is filled with cheer and you for me. Get to know you better. Now you listen in the day. I'm not in the right key. This is what happens when I try to do it acapella. Hold up. <laughs> Sleigh bells ring. That's not it. Walking in a wonderland. There we go. Gone away. Here to stay. It seems a love song. Land. Feel the snowman. But you can do the job. Town as we dream. So this is specifically, quite honestly, I can't really get myself in the mind space of working very hard when I'm on my bed. I force myself to actually sit in my little director's chair. This is also where I podcast. If you actually don't know, and some of you probably already are aware of this, advertised it a little bit around on Instagram, but I am starting a podcast in 2024. Technically it is started, but it's not necessarily like ready to go. And again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, this is my Instagram handle, and that's where you'll see a lot more of my ag advocacy see real. Oh, fun. My hand is bleeding. I keep all my school books, stool that sits here, and it has all of my history slash life practicum. Any of you are students and you have problems with organization like I do, a binder with everything in it and with tabs will probably save your life. Definitely save mine this year. I just have a fill in the blanks assignment. And then in my constitutional literacy, I have until 5 p.m. tomorrow to turn in all of the definition, which I don't have to do because I worked ahead and I did two weeks ahead. So, and then a brief look at my editing process slash plan here and I made a list of some potential things I wanted to do and then obviously based off of today's video you saw that on Instagram I had a question sticker that had a suggestion for a particular day of vlogmas. Just throwing that out there if you have any suggestions please put them down in the comment section below and if you are on Instagram make sure you shoot me a DM. The editing plan tonight is gonna be very on point. I have to get this all edited preferably by midnight and I've watched enough vlogmases to know that that's usually how it goes. If I have to 
could crank it out in the morning, I might have to too. But I also have a jazz event tomorrow, which is hence the reason why I was practicing with my music today. Let me just take you through iMovie real quick. So I use iMovie to edit. That's been a question I've been asked a lot just by my peers and stuff. I used to use Final Cut Pro X, definitely debating going back to it because Final Cut is just so much faster. I feel like as far as production time, it has a lot more quality. I do have some problems with it though. The first one being that my computer, which is a snazzy little, is great, fantastic and all that, but it just can't handle too much. A higher performance MacBook because this one's just kind of your bare minimum performance. doesn't have a lot of storage on it. Let's say you take a five minute sit down talking video, bare minimum. You sit down for five minutes, you talk to the camera, boom, put it in iMovie. It's golden, it's there. Cut it all up. Pretty soon you're at two hours and you're maybe almost done. This kind of video is going to challenge the heck out of me. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for coming along with me. My first day of Vlogmas, seeing this on December 1st, 2023, but realistically it was all filmed the day before. If you're new to this channel, I'm not actually really a lifestyle vlogger to say that this channel is more geared towards agriculture cultural advocacy. I'm in FFA, so a lot of my experiences on this channel are from that as well. During this time, I don't have any stock show animals or anything really big ag-wise as far as animals go, and I don't live on a production farm or anything. It's pretty stagnant, so I thought I'd play around with Vlogmas a little bit and see how that goes. But if you want to follow my journey and you think that this could be interesting content for the future, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, make sure you leave a comment, your feedback. So without further ado, I'm out. See ya!